Pascal's triangle provides a quick way of doing expansion of brackets with large powers. Now the trick is to do the following. Okay, power of 4. If it's a plus b to the power of 4, we write down a to the power of 4. We then put an a cubed and a b to the power of 1. We then put an a squared and a b squared. We then put a a to the power of 1 and a b cubed. And we finish off with, there's no a's left, so b to the power of 4. So the a's decrease each term in terms of powers, and the b's increase by 1 each time. And we then add on some coefficients. We look for the row in Pascal's triangle which has a 4 after the 1. And the 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 provide the coefficients for each of those terms. So it's 1, then it's 4, then it's 6, then it's 4, and finally it's 1. So each of these terms are times by the coefficient within the Pascal's triangle. So, if we wanted to expand one plus two x to the power of four. Now, a is just one, and b is just two x. And we replace a by one and b by two x in the following way. Okay, so a is one. 1 to the power of 4, 1 times it, then 4 lots of 1 cubed, and b is 2x, so 2x to the power of 1, then 6, 1 squared, 2x all squared, then 4, 1 to the power of 1, 2x all cubed, and finally, 1 times 2x to the power of 4. I place each term within a bracket. That's especially important when these terms are negative. I then go through each part in turn and work it out. So, 1 to the power of 4 is 1, so that whole thing there is just 1 times 1, which is 1. I've got 4. 1 cubed is 1. And 2x but to the power of 1 is just 2x. Then it's 6. 1 squared is 1. Now 2x squared, 2 squared is 4. So it's 4x squared. Then it's 4. Lots of 1. Lots of 2 cubed is 8. 8x eight cubed. And finally, it's 1. Lot of 2 to the 4 is 16x to the power of 4. I then finish off by working it out, so 4 times 2x is 8x, 6 times 4 is 24, then 4 times 8 is 32, and finally 1 times 16, 16x to the power of 4. We have therefore expanded this particular expression quite quickly using Pascal's triangle.